Representative Bly, we have a question from a viewer in Lakeville. It might even be part of your territory. Perhaps you, do you go, do you go as far yeah, north as No, I don't go as far as north as, as Lakeville. All right. Well, anyway, this viewer wants you to discuss the non-traditional instructional program choice bill that you've oh, introduced. okay. So maybe it's a relative. I don't know. But, but we do want to talk about it. So t tell us a little well, bit about what this viewer is um, asking okay. us about. What, what this bill uh, it, it comes from is, in part, uh, the last uh, session we passed an uh, uh, education bill um, called World's Best Workforce. Uh, what, among the things we want to do is look at the individual needs of students and their strengths and also the way that they learn. And I think one of the downsides of the accountability and testing we've done in the past is we've seen some programs get uh, ignored or shut down or lost. A lot of those programs are hands-on kinds of learning, uh, things that are more applied learning, some of our ag programs, some of our uh, industrial tech programs, some career uh, tech programs that uh, really going all the way down to, to uh, elementary school, uh, we, what we need to do is start thinking about how do we uh, have pathways for kids who learn differently where their strengths are really have to do with uh, uh, hands-on applied learning and that's where they're, they're going to be successful. I, I, and working in alternative schools, I saw a lot of students who felt after the second grade and experiencing the kind of uh, education system that they did, they thought they couldn't learn. They thought they, they were unable to learn in the system and it was very defeating for them and they, it was hard for them to advance. So I think we need to pay attention to that and make sure that if we're going to talk about having different pathways for students, we need to make sure that they're in place. So what my bill does is, say, is says that every school district must offer a what we would consider a non-traditional kind of program, K-12, for our students to, to have access to. I think it's good for teachers too because teachers will uh, be able to teach in, there in ways that they're kind of not, not allowed to right now because there's so much attention on those kind of academic skills.